Hello, I'd like to buy a car. I'll take this one. Thank you. Why is there never anyone at fucking hot dog stands? Oh, hello, random encounter. Okay, this is the one I failed before, right? So they did repeat. No, no sunglasses. I'm looking at hip hop CDs, though. I've replayed this since it's been a little while. I sense a little apprehension in your voice. I like it a bit, but uh, I'm not the crazy fan. Because the shit went all commercial? Because people sold out? I, I hear you. No, not really. the shit ain't real no more? Ain't got no intelligence? Real? Well, you gonna love my shit. Your shit? Yes, it's the real urban consciousness, and man, it is real. Pathos, believe that. Why are you selling it on the street? The majors are just pimps, and I ain't no bitch. Oh, I can see that. Man, if I have to spend the rest of my life preaching on a street corner, so fucking be it. Give it up for Pathos. Yo, Pathos, you a bitch and you suck dead. Man, you hear that, punk? Yeah, you heard me, bitch. What you gonna do hey, about hey, it? Hey, fuck you. I've had enough of your crap. Okay, this time let's just go in with the guns. You don't get no real music, punk. Hello. We good? Yo, thanks, sir. You you a child of the street. You know the truth when you see it. I, I'ma immortalize you. Keep it real from your man Pathos. Thanks, man. I'll get you around. Yeah, no problem. I mean, to be honest with you, things like that makes me like don't care that I am gonna probably end up missing some random encounters, right? What's the point in that? How boring. <laughs> the best one was the guy, the stalker man. Watch out, man! Sorry. Oh, that vehicle isn't wanted as well. It's annoying, right? It's stealing cars. Pain in the butt. I guess they would report that though, right? You stole a car from like a Ferrari place. Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus. You know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off. Getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. It wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers. Now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me. Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. You told me to kill him, do you? Cop with the famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. <laughs> you got the big problem then. Me? Uh -uh. We, my friend. We. We? We, we. You stop it. <coughs> stop him how? Stop? Hmm? Stop. Expand. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Wow. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm going to meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. It's okay, Tris. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. Do we get a choice? I don't want to kill him. He seems okay. He's just a bit, um, problems, right? There's no reason to kill him. It's because he's a nuisance to you. He's going to threaten your career. Can we not kill the policeman instead? Oh, this car's wanted. Don't get in that. Derek? Nico, thank fuck you in. Bring your race to meet me at this park on Bismarck. I think he's gonna try to kill me. Come uh -huh. kill who they like. Do you know the place? Are you close? Can you get there in time? I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes a move. Okay. This is Cain and Abel stuff. The question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth? With a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery, shit! Look after me, Nico. Yeah, it sounds like there's gonna be a choice. If there's a choice, we protect Derek and get rid of Francis. 
Oh, Francis. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Okay, okay. So yeah, this is a choice here. Um, come on, I need a car, but these just going to get reported stolen as well, aren't they? I might as well take the fucking Ferrari. Oh, here we go. Nice. Use the window cleaning platform on top of the scaffolding to get to the roof. Okay, I guess I'll climb on these pallets. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shot myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. Okay, let's kill Francis. I can't remember doing this before. Uh, I can't remember what choice I would have made. I would have hoped younger me would have um, realized what was going on here and uh, chose to kill this bastard. I mean, not even random NPCs are, like, um, surprised with this. He's, like, not leaving the crime scene, though. You'd think maybe that would be the best thing, no? I guess maybe he can act the innocent bystander there. Bit hard to explain if he was there and then ran off, I guess. I need to get out of here, though. It's quick response time, isn't it, there, from the police? I mean, it's pretty obvious that I've caused the problem, haven't I? Oh, no! Come on. Get in and drive off. I don't really have much health. Simple enough. Do we care about talking to Derek over the phone about this? Shit. You did it. Bolt of lightning from out of the fucking blue. I really got the feeling it was him and me back there. You don't know the half. The last bit of juice I got on this thing. Okay. Maybe now that's the last time we've seen him. I did think maybe the previous time was, but um you would think maybe that would be because how would they then proceed right with the game because you might have chose to kill him. Hello, Roman. Cousin, it is your cousin. How about we go see a show? See a show? Uh. 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 Okay. All right, man. We go see something. I should be with you in no more than one hour. We have a date. I am waiting for you. Sure. You got me in a good mood. Hello, cousin! Get in! Should we go bowling? No. Should we go to a show? Ah, NB. Seeing you puts a smile on my face. Let's go. Okie dokie. Nico B in the house! Man, sometimes I cannot believe you are here with me. Really, I can. It's hardly been a lot of fun since I turned up, cousin. Correct. It has been a fucking nightmare, but that's not the point. No? No. The point is... Fuck it. The Bellic cousins are here in a land of opportunity, and we are making trouble for any fools who get in our way. If you say so. I do say so, man. I do. I just did. It, it's good to have you here. Whatever shit we get into, man, it's good. Thanks. Don't you miss home? You've been there a long time. You never get homesick? Sure. I, I miss things about home, but I, I, I think things are ruined now. Yes, I know what you mean. I miss the good times we had as children. When our fathers were too drunk to beat us. When there was food and the sun was shining. But now, now I live here and life is good. Is it? Yes, cousin, it is. Sure, this place is crazy, but so is home. And here it is okay to be an eccentric go-getter businessman with a taste for fine women, wine and song. <laughs> is that how you see yourself? My God, you are deranged, cousin. This place has made you sick. Fuck you. I'm an individual, my friend. One of a kind. Or, to put it another way, a freak. So this is why I should really do more of these activities, right? We learn so much more there. Right? That's on me. I should um, be a bit more welcoming to people. Coming to the Split Sides Comedy Club stage, give it up for Mr. Cat Williams. Oh, no. We can't have this song. Please. 
Is this Snoop Dogg? It's come out with like a Rick Ross song, Every Day I'm Hustling. So um, I just muted that because like 10 seconds is not worth a claim. What's going on, Liberty City? How are you? Good to see everybody out there tonight. It's a beautiful night. DJ's playing my favorite song. Could you just play it one more time? It makes me... No, thank you. It makes me feel strong. Like, I, I don't know if you've heard this song or not, but it makes me feel strong. Hold on, just play it one more time. It's the same song. All I, a song like this, you need it... You need it as your alarm clock so you can wake up in the morning to some gangster shit. You just be in the bed, just waiting on it. Just... Hey, it's replaying again. Every day I'm hustling, hustling. You must know the song. Not quite sure why everyone is losing their mind laughing about it. Play it again, sir. I'm just saying it's the shit. That's all I'm saying. The song is the shit. That's the national anthem for anybody who ever hustled at all. Even if you're a librarian, play that song in the library and see if it ain't the shit. You just be in the library, just minding your business, just. Oh my god, mate. This whole act is revolved around music that's gonna um, strike me. <laughs> or claim my video, I should say, not strike. It's replaying it again. So, don't play it again. Just saying the song is the shit, that's all I'm saying. All I'm saying, if you went to heaven, and that song was playing, you know it's finna be a party in heaven. You just walk in heaven, you just... Oh my god, this is so boring, mate. Move on to new material. It's like kicking like a dead dog, mate. This joke is not funny. Stop it, sir. I said don't play it again. Just saying it's shit. It's shit. Saying if you went to the grocery store, and that song was playing, you buy everything in that bitch, knowing you ain't got but 78 Liberty City dollars. You just in the store, just... Oh my god. Can we heckle? I said don't play it again. I'm just saying this song is shit. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying it's good for everything. Fellas, if you're having a problem in your relationship, stop fucking your woman to slow songs. Tonight, try some special shit. Some shit you picked up from your friend Cat Williams. Fuck her to some gangster shit. Just as soon as it comes on, you just buy the bed. Just... It's just like the same joke, like over and over. Look at you like this, like, I gotta go to work in the morning. What the fuck is wrong with you? Just saying the song is a shit. Just saying. If you worked at Burger Shot, somebody came through the drive thru and ordered a number seven. Oh, uh, don't play it again. You looked around, nobody was in that bitch but you. If you could just put that song on the PA system, you'd be okay. You just in the burger shot, just. Ugh. People are stopping laughing now. Are they? This is a real person. It's not Snoop Dogg. <laughs> it does look like it, but it's not Snoop Dogg. This is a real person called Cat Williams. Is this like his real material in real life? Because it's pretty shit. Mate, it's just replaying the song there again. Ladies and gentlemen, Cat Williams. I'm a rock star. Liberty City, you know what it is. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. That's really not good, mate. Really not good. Don't find that funny at all. Let's go now. Sorry, cousin, took you to a shit show there. It's like every day we hustling, like on repeat, like every single time, mate. I don't understand why that is funny at all. Like maybe do it for like a one bit joke, but why is it funny just to keep repeating it? Obviously, even less funny when um, it's muted. Sorry about it, but you're not missing much. Am I taking you home back to where? Why am I taking you back to this house? Ugh. I enjoyed that, Nico. We yep. should do it again soon. Do you feel safe in this house? I thought that was why we moved. Maybe that interaction there was meant to have happened back when we were using this safe house in the story, right? Because we were talking about home and stuff. Probably would have fitted more earlier on in the game rather than towards the end. The Sorry, that was an accident. That was an accident. It was an accident. It was an accident. It was an accident. Can I bribe you just one singular cop? Can I do, can I do that? 
Yeah, and the bribe still doesn't work. Go back. Yeah, the bribe still don't work. I don't. I don't know where. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, I got my seatbelt on either. Shit. And he's going to Algonquin anyway, right? See Bernie, so I head that way. Go through the middle, taxi driver. Yeah, good job. I think I've lost the tire. Oh, a bit more than the tire. The car is pretty fucked. Uh, the Deadly Rex, I think, does like increase um, damage to cars, so that might be why I'm um, quite fucked right now. Come on, we've got to be good here. Yeah, good. Okay, nice. Where are we? Oh, I've gone the wrong way. I was going to go to fucking Bernie when I... A bit sense. Seems a bit stupid now, though, doesn't it? Let's go to Gambetti instead. All right, I need a new car. Should we take this hearse? <laughs> I want a hearse. Stop it. I'm sorry, but I need a new car, and I want your car, because I don't really see these all done. Get out. That's close. Um, hello? What's this bus driver doing? There's one last cop on the streets of Liberty City. What do you mean, Becky? I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. Oh, no. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hard couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis's room. It's at the church in Suffolk. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. You can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. That's quite fucked up, turning up to uh, the funeral of a guy I killed. Sure, I'll do that later. I ain't got to do that now, have I? Is that on now? Oh, this is on now. Oh, okay. Uh, I need a suit. Oh, hello. Kate. Hi, Nico. Hey, Kate. I'm sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. Like Just need to put a suit on. So, can I cut in? Thanks. Drive safely. I have a funeral to go to. I'm actually carrying Francis' body in here. Can you imagine if that was what I stole? <laughs> I stole the hearse on the way to the current funeral. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. There is a body in there, isn't there? I think. Is that body? Is that a coffin? Maybe. No, there isn't. It is empty. Yeah, there's no one in there. Yeah, completely empty. <laughs> Those little metal things on the floor, I guess, is what keeps it in place. Do you think it's a bit insensitive, though, to turn up to a funeral in my own hearst? Might be handy to have a spare. This is why, like, I was leaving the suit on, because, like, everything that requires clothes is always a suit. I should just leave it on all the time, right? I mean, I would have to get changed anyway, wouldn't I? Because of the last outfit I had was the Albanian stuff. But otherwise, you might as well just leave it on 24-7. It's annoying having to go back home to change. Whatever happened to Elisabetta? Nothing really ended up happening with her, did it? It said that they were going to... Arrest her? No. And then nothing happened? Or did that just happen off screen? I guess that is the hearse for uh, Francis. There's been a double murder. I went back and killed Derek. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him. To bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I don't think that's the right kind of suit to wear, really, is it? I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Mom. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. Oh, no. The most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Mm. You have a strange family. Who Should have doesn't? chose something black, really, shouldn't I? I don't know. Why have they come to do this? Yeah, no. 
Bit late by now. <laughs> Took a while to whip it out. I'll do my best, Becky. This is a place of God. Jesus Christ. They're dead. Can these people shoot at us on another day? Don't come out of the fucking church. This must be some of those Albanian guys Jerry was fucking with. Ah. You damn disrespectful bastards. Yeah, that was also my fault, right? These guys are dead, mate. I killed them. What are we doing here? <laughs> huh? What's happening? Shouldn't I have blown them up? Oh, what happened there to the textures of that church? Hello? They're dead. Confused. What's happening? Jerry was right to screw with you! What's happening, mate? They're dead, mate. Oh, God, what has happened here? Look at this. Stuff is glitched out, right? Should we restart? Wow. Look how far I've gone. Uh, luckily, that should just be the cutscene, right? And start straight away, no? Right? Ah, oh, you lose the body armor there. That's annoying. What's happened to the textures here? Hmm? What's happened here? Oh my god. Something's broke. Something's like broke, broke. The only mod I've installed before this session was the one to fix the pedestrian with the cars and stuff. That seems an unlikely mod to call this. This seems like some sort of texture problem. I guess I will take that mod off anyway. It was only really to stop the taxi spawning stuff, which it seems to have done. But if if it may have perhaps caused that, I should turn it off just in case, right? And if it still happens afterwards, then I can turn it back on. Hi, Nico. Hello, Thank goodbye. <laughs> I'll be there soon, okay? Hey there. Hello. Welcome to Perseus. Do you have like a funeral suit? I'm just looking for like a black suit. Black tire. Yeah, not like that. Just like a smart black. That isn't too bad. Right, that is okay, I think, for a funeral. It is black. I mean, to be fair, you don't know where his requirements are anyway, right? For a funeral. Some people don't like um, people turning up in all black, right? They actually leave requirements in the will to say, don't wear all black. But I mean, would he have a will written up? Maybe not. He wasn't exactly old, was he? But he was in a police force, so you, there is a risk of death. You'd think maybe he did. Yep, I am. Yeah, I think it just glitched out. So I could try putting that mod back on to test it out, right? And then if it happens again, then you could say maybe it's that one. All right, Nico, it's time to go, but we're taking my brother with us. Can you drive the Romero? Yeah, I can. I can drive the Romero. Is this actually the one I drove in to turn up? I know that was the other save, annoyingly. <laughs> Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? Can you not shoot the police guys, mate? They were okay with us. You go easy. Why are you shooting a policeman? Oh, the same policeman. Was that the driver? Yeah. Don't be scumbag up for a second. I think we finally lost him. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck. I met my brother, Francis. It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. 
guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Oh, now look at both. Francis is on his way to the Gerald is behind bars. All's that guy left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away from the church to protect my sister. I did it all for you. Sure you did, Nico. Tell yourself you did it out of the grace of your own heart, rather than for another piece of your anatomy. Which ain't gonna get used, I might add. Should we bury your brother in the boat, in the cemetery? Okay, this is it. We can put him in the ground now. Tempted to turn that Liberty Rush mod off. He's still holding his pistol. Put it away, mate. Be polite. <laughs> <laughs> Pan to the boat stuck in the floor. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> there he is. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. Eh, maybe.